What's Swinging Nation? Welcome back to the podcast. My name is Fred Moore, and I am the host of this illustrious show. This show is on YouTube. If you're listening on a video platform and you want to see it, and of course, if you're seeing it and you're believing it, and you're on YouTube right now, then do know and do believe that you can find this podcast situated on SoundCloud and Stitcher, Spotify and Google Play and iTunes. And uh, speaking of iTunes, the, um, the, the big thing to do nowadays, all you, all you cool kids should know about this is uh, you go to iTunes with your phone, you open up the podcast there, and you give me a five-star review, and uh, you write something. It has to be something more than like, cool show. It has to be like, really cool show, I learned a lot, and Fred is, he's all right. You know, something like that. And it's somehow that produces the benefits of helping support the podcast. If that is too much for you, which it might just be, and I don't blame you, um, and whatever platform you're on right now listening, please subscribe, share it, and write something, give a rating somewhere. Um, why? Well, because this podcast is brought to you by me, and who's me? Fred Moore. I'm a firefighter in Elizabeth, New Jersey. I've got 16 years on the job. And um, essentially, I um, am not a celebrity, so nobody knows who I am. So therefore, I have no way of getting an audience. Or, you know, building an audience other than the like the old fashioned way, which is beating the bushes and staying like determined and being a fighter. And you know what? That's what I want to talk about today. Boom. I didn't know what I was going to talk about, but now I know what I was going to talk about. Being a fighter. Okay. So why is it that, you know, people start podcasts? Why do they start? endeavors in general, businesses, and then, you know, six months later, they're not doing it anymore. And when you ask them, well, what, what happened? Why aren't you doing it? Their reply back is, well, there was this and that, and this wasn't working, and it was just too hard, and that, and this, and that. And all viable reasons. And I said, okay, um, I'm not going to do that in my life if I can avoid that. Not that I don't do it. We all do it. I'm not perfect. Um, but I definitely, definitely, definitely knew when I was starting this podcast that it may not, you know, it may, let's put it this way. It's going to take a really long time to build up an audience and to make something out of it. And it's not going to happen in a year and it's not going to happen in two years. And I said, well, how about five years? And so when I thought about that, I said, well, that's, fi that's possible. And of course, in five years, what I consider a, su a success may be like not what you see with other podcasts where, you know, it's a celebrity with a built-in audience um, where they have 50,000 downloads a month. You know, what I'm hoping for is 10,000 downloads a month. That's what I'm hoping for in five years so in order to do that i have to be a fighter that means every day i have to get up and i have to kick ass as much as i can and do whatever it is i got to do to make this happen that means doing podcast after podcast uploading this being in social media the whole thing it takes a lot of time energy a lot of the energy that it takes is creative energy and you know finding things to talk about Interestingly enough, you saw what just happened here. I, I actually just started up uh, rec the recording here with absolutely no idea what I was going to talk about, and it happened. Hey, let's talk about being a fighter. So 
I consider myself a fighter. Um, not because I'm a fireman, but it just so happens that um, I did go into that line of work. And um, I really, you know, I feel like most of my better fighting I've done in life has been in the mind, you know, fighting off negative thoughts, bad habits, fighting off the incredible easiness of just throwing in the towel. Um, it's so easy to throw in the towel. And when we do it, there's almost like a relief because we go, I don't care. I'm just throwing in the towel. I don't care. I'm done. And when we always say, no, 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 I can't throw in a towel. I won't be able to live with myself. There's almost like this feeling like, oh, God, that means I got to keep doing this. <laughs> it, gets, it gets hard. So you better know what it is that you want to do, and you better like what you're doing. And um, good enough for me, I started the podcast because I like doing this stuff. So it's always going to keep me occupied, always feel good, inspired, and everything. Thank God for that. Um, and will it ever go anywhere? One never knows now, does one? But I have to be vigilant, and I have to always try to do better. I always have to try to... I always have to try to make my skills better, sharper. Whoops, my phone was too close to the uh, my console for my microphone. It was making all that noise. Um, that's non-professional. Now, a lot of people, something like that would happen. They go, ah, the recording's ruined, and I'm going to throw it in the towel. I'm going to sh do another one. And, you know, always trying to be perfect. That's another problem. And I'll tell you, one thing I learned is uh, being on the fire department. There ain't no such thing. You could do 99 things right, and then that one thing you do wrong, everybody sees it, and they poke you. They poke you real hard in the ribs, and they laugh at you. Ah, you screwed that up, you jerk. And you got to just, like, laugh it off, you know. Um, but essentially, being a fighter means being prepared daily to get in there and uh, make things happen. And to be able to take a lot of, a lot of hits, direct shots right to the face, a lot of them. Watch a fight on TV, boxing match, MMA, anything. The guy who won at the end of the match got hit like 150 times. You know, he got punched in both eyes, in the mouth, in the nose, in the ribs, a few shots right in the groin, not on purpose, you know, but uh, just saying they're beat up, man. It's just that the other guy's just a little bit more beat up a lot of the times. It's just like a little bit, like it was just one more hit more that that guy took than you took, and he's down and you're not. And it could have been the other way. And then if it is that way and you do go down and you lose, when you get it all back together again and start your training the next day, it's like, hey, we're gearing up for the next battle. Let's, we're gearing up for the next fight. Let's go. And right back to that winner mentality. And the winner mentality is I will stay in the fight. You know, it's not I will win. I mean, sometimes it is, but a lot of times it's just stay in the fight. Because once you give up the fight is when you lost. Um, yeah, guys, that's it. You know, let's, let's keep it at that. Let's do a quick hit here. Quick hit. Again, subscribe, follow, write, do all those nice things that fans and listeners do. And do, do, do support my sponsors. My sponsors are dope. They're fun. They're cool. They're neat. One of them is Adex, A-D-E-X. Go to adexclub.com. Now, if you go to addictsclub.com and you think you're going to a website that has anything to do with clubbing and going out to clubs, you're wrong. 
But what you will find is that they have maces and clubs that you could swing to your heart's delight that maybe you could take to a club and, like, spin that shit around. I don't know how you're going to get in the door with it, but you could try. Um, it's not condoned by me. And it's not condoned by addicts, you know, legally. Um, we, we're not going to condone that. But I will say that um, it's, if it's something you want to try, it's a free country. And it's better than throwing bricks. So, you know, go for that. Go to addictsclub.com and use the discount code SteelMace2020. No, not Steel Mace 2020. I'm getting all my codes mixed up. It's SMN 2020. SMN 2020. Get a discount. Tell Don over at Adex that Fred said hello. While we're at it, what's up on Go Energy Spray? Use the discount code Steel Mace 25 for a little bottle of spray pump caffeine that you squirt in your mouth three times and... Um, it lights you up, gets you ready for your, you know, tubular workout that you're about to fire off. And speaking of tubular workouts, how about Mace Fit Nation, MaceFit.com. Okay, MaceFit.com is a sponsor of the Steel Mace Nation podcast. And you go to Steel Mace Fit. I'm sorry. <laughs> You go to macefit.com and uh, check out the workout programs. Check out the certification. And uh, tell Frank over there that Fred sent you. He'll give you a discount. Also, vintage strength training. Vintage strength training. Valerie Polowski up in North Jersey, a neighbor of mine. She's fun. She's exciting. She's super energetic. Um, I hang out with her sometimes just so I can try to like get some energy off of her. I don't know where she gets it from, but she's kettlebells. She's mace. She's unconventional as all can be. Uh, vintage strength training.com. Check it out. Uh, tell Valerie over there. Fred sent you. She'll hook you up. Who else am I forgetting? Ah, how can I forget? We have a coffee sponsor, Graziella coffee company.com. Really, really cool. Really, really neat. Uh, Graziella Coffee Company. I was just checking out the uh, – I had to write it down so because I'm a very confused person right now um, with all the discount codes. It's MaceFit15. No, it's not MaceFit. Oh, my God. I am horrible with these discount codes. It's Mace Nation 15 You, could, you guys could see – why I'm having so much difficulty here, right? Because you got Steel Mace Nation podcast and Adex, the discount code is SMN2020. And then Mace Fit is, uh, they have a discount code. I don't even know what it is right now. I'm, I'm, my brain is short frying on me. I'm all over the place with this. Um, guys, the information I just gave you is pretty much correct. The only discount code I didn't give you is, is Mace Fits. Um, so just contact Frank and tell him you listen to the podcast. Fred said you got something for him, and he'll know what I mean. But if you go to Graziella Coffee Company and you want a bag of fresh coffee delivered to you from Brooklyn, you can use a discount code Mace Nation 15 to get 15% off. That's it, guys. Four sponsors. That's a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of uh, intake there for you. I appreciate you listening through that. It's important that we get those sponsors out there to you. They're all great people. They're all great products. They're all great services. And they are offering stuff for you for being fans of the show. You got to click subscribe. You got to click likes and all that stuff. And, you know, hook it up social media-wise. And, at the end of the day, we are one giant community making ourselves even more gianter. So thank you very much for checking out this current podcast. Hope it was awesome for you as it was for me. Take care.